Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome to a comprehensive guide on fixing crashes and freezes in Counter-Strike 2. I'm your host, and today we're going to explore the depths of troubleshooting to ensure your CS2 experience is as smooth as possible. Grab a snack, settle in, and let's get started. Before we delve into solutions, let's understand the common causes of crashes and freezes in CS2. Whether it's hardware limitations, outdated drivers, or in-game conflicts, we'll cover it all to equip you with the knowledge needed to tackle these issues head-on. Our first checkpoint is to ensure your system meets CS2's minimum requirements. We'll discuss the importance of having adequate hardware and how falling short can lead to crashes. Upgrading certain components might be the key to unlocking a seamless gaming experience. Games often require a significant amount of system resources, including CPU power, RAM, and GPU capabilities. Meeting the minimum requirements ensures that these resources are allocated appropriately, preventing bottlenecks and ensuring a balanced distribution of computing power for smooth gameplay. Graphics drivers are the bridge between your hardware and the game. We'll guide you through the process of checking for updates, downloading the latest drivers, and ensuring compatibility. A well-maintained driver can be the secret weapon in resolving crashes and freezes. So let's get started. Corrupted or missing game files are often the culprits behind crashes. We'll demonstrate how to use Steam's built-in tool to verify the integrity of CS2 files. This step ensures that your game files are in top-notch condition, preventing unexpected issues during gameplay. Background applications can steal precious resources from CS2. We'll delve into the process of identifying and closing unnecessary programs running in the background. This step is crucial for maximizing system resources and minimizing the risk of freezes. For computer components, it's crucial to maintain optimal temperatures to prevent overheating. The specific temperature ranges can vary for different components like the CPU and GPU. Generally, keeping temperatures below 80 to 90 degrees Celsius is recommended for most hardware to ensure stability and longevity. Overlays from communication apps and third-party software can sometimes clash with CS2. We'll show you how to disable these overlays and discuss potential conflicts that may arise. This step can eliminate unnecessary interruptions during your gaming sessions. Now here are some important settings. First is to underclock your graphics card. To do that, follow my steps.
If this did not fix, then change the compatibility mod. To do that, follow my steps. There you have it, a journey through the intricacies of fixing crashes and freezes in Counter-Strike 2. I hope this guide proves valuable in enhancing your gaming experience. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth gaming content. Until next time, happy gaming, and may your CS2 adventures be glitch-free.